Many black leaders and speakers today try to recount and adopt Malcolm X's house Negro field Negro phrase and apply it to the black community when in fact it was never intended to even describe the black community. In fact, the entire black community was seen by him as the field Negro and he had very specific meaning when talking about the house Negro and it never had anything to do with the black community. Message to the grassroots was one of Malcolm X's last speeches as a member of the Nation of Islam. A few weeks, a few weeks after delivering the speech, Elijah Muhammad, the nation's leader, silenced Malcolm X for comments he made with respect to the assassination of President Kennedy. On March 8, 1964, Malcolm X announced his departure from the Nation of Islam. In some ways, message to the grassroots can be viewed as a sign of Malcolm X's impending separation from the Nation of Islam. In it, he spoke not as a Muslim minister, but as a leader of the black masses. Gloria Richardson, who was present, later remembered, quote, That was when I really wondered how long it would be before he broke with the Nation of Islam message to the grassroots was the most political speech Malcolm X had delivered to that time. The political message of the speech was beyond the teaching of the nation of Islam. Some of the, some of the themes touched on by Malcolm X and message to the grassroots were familiar with. The distinction between the black revolution and the Negro Revolution, and that between the House Negro and the Field Negro had become common features of his speeches. Regarding the March on Washington, theologian James Cone writes that Malcolm's language was harsh, but it was the truth. According to Cone, the march was controlled by the black bourgeoisie and the white liberals who financed it. The organizers forced John Lewis to rewrite his speech because of it was considered offensive to the Kennedy administration, and James Baldwin was not allowed to speak out of fear for what he might say. James Baldwin, who later moved to Paris, France, and renounced his American citizenship. We have black leaders and speakers trying to apply this to regular folk in the black community these days to cause division, strife, and mayhem. I think the entire speech was unfortunate. That's polite speak for meaning he should have worded his speech better and come right out and say what he meant instead of being indirect. And confused Negroes thinking he actually meant house and field Negroes and repeating the mess. Blacks act like crabs in a barrel sometimes ready to pull someone down that gets ahead. This is slave mentality. I believe my way is best, and I think everyone can be reached and rescued. That includes the ratchet, the hopeless, the homeless, the jobless, the single mom or dad, and those who consort with the enemy against us. Yes, even the president. In case you haven't received the memo, he sold you down the river. Sorry to be the one to have to clue you in. I want you all to stop using house Negro, field Negro. When referring to regular people or even referring to somebody on TV or referring to the, that is that system is no longer in play. What do I mean that system? I'm talking about a system where out and out overt white supremacy is out in the open. That a black man walking down the street can be hit upside the head by a white man and nobody bats an eyelash. That system is gone. It's over. Everything is very clandestine. Malcolm X was talking about 
his mentor and leader of the nation of Islam. He was not talking about Martin Luther King. He wasn't talking about anybody else. He wasn't talking about anybody else. He was very specific about who he meant. And it was not intended for the run-of-the-mill Negro. Okay? There's so many people, and I, and I guarantee you that white people have been repeating it to black people and referencing Malcolm X to get you to repeat it to other black people. Because that's how just how screwed up the mentality is today. I want to get you to a point where a black man doesn't see another black man as an enemy. Because I don't see anybody black as an enemy. I might see them as a peasant, but I don't see them as an as an enemy. <laughs> Thank you for watching the Shikama Live Show.